Hello everyone, Fire for the here. And um, this is gonna be kind of an emergency episode because I thought that I'm gonna start working on the Turkana Hippo Hip review, but I go completely sidetracked, which is very usual with me. And I started to changing the tires and that went down to actually fixing the tubeless and now figuring out what I'm gonna do with absolutely destroyed front rim. And because of the front rim, I really, really want to show, um, yeah, what happened with it in 57,000 kilometers, couple of rallies and all that. So let's see what I have done so far. So apart from actually the uh, rally, <laughs> the Tenere, I also um, changed the rear tire to, well, whatever I had in here. But what I really thought of doing is, um, trying to fix the 3M tape, which I had in there. And I've done that yesterday during the night. What I did is I just took another layer of the 3M Extreme uh, tape and I literally just put it around. But uh, I think it's worth mentioning that this tape um, really survived quite a lot and it got really, really thin on the rim because I had the massive heavy duty tubes in through the rally and everything. And it's damaged on some of the nipples. Uh, so I had, even before the rally, I had the leak in some of the nipples. So I inspect the whole rim and I saw that either the, the top of the nipples has been, the, the tape has been scratched off from those or there has been leaks um, just on the side. You can see that because uh, my tape was kind of a black because it's transparent and where the leaks were it was white. What I did also is that I I just cut out the pieces of the tape where I saw it's leaking on the sides and then I went all over the rim with the new fresh um, tape. Um, so I have they sell it in 16 meters so you have plenty to actually repair it and one note on this is that it does peel off really, really well. And the tape is actually designed to be used uh, in multiple layers. It should um, kind of melt together. So effectively now I have a two millimeter coat and uh, so far it holds really, really well. Uh, no leaks uh, throughout, uh, it has been there for 24 hours. So I think that's the success. That's the rear tire. That was the easy thing. I also um, adjusted the spokes before I put another coat. When I turned the spoke about quarter of a turn, you can see how it starts meshing up the tape. So anything more than a quarter is gonna damage your seal um, in there. So that is clear disadvantage. I even had those uh, little Outex um, um, pads on top of the spokes uh, but yeah it just it just twists the whole thing so that definitely no go then I uh, went to the front wheel and that's a whole different story that's the front wheel um, and that's the Odex tape which I took off because my rim is so damaged that it's impossible to put the tubeless tire on it because it's it leaks through the bead Right, because my it just wide, and I will show you how much <laughs> I destroyed it. Um, so there was no point of actually having the Outex tube or Outex tape on it anymore. Now, when I took it off, well, that is what I need to show because I didn't expect that happened. So this is my front rim. You can see how well used it is. <laughs> and uh, what I want to show is the damage of that rim after you know quite heavy abuse and the reason why this rim will it's impossible to use tubeless on it anymore so if I spin it pay attention to how straight it is yes you could probably fix that with a hammer and all that but effectively no chance so I saw how uh, damaged the rim is and I um, wanted to check if my spokes are tight. Wow, 
well, anywhere when I hit it is just completely out of whack. Um, so all the spokes need to be retightened. So I took the Altex off and started inspecting the nipples. And this is this what shocked me the most. So this is all corrosion from this is aluminium, which is basically corroded to oblivion over there. And the reason for that, I mean, you can just it just turns the rim into a powder. And look, it, there's a massive hole in here. This whole thing can go. And the corrosion is all over the rim. It's not just one spoke or one um, nipple. It's it's on many many places, and you know it, it, it's not. I mean, look at that. And that also means that the spokes are of course loose. And I don't really know, but that rim is probably done. So what I think happens is, as we have a tape, any tape, this is Altex, it can be something else. What effectively happens is it seals in here very, very well. It does let in some water and some dirt. In my case, I suspect that this is a corrosion from the salt, which was in Tunisia in um, Shot El Jarib because you basically bathe the whole wheel in salt and obviously you are not able to wash it off from inside when it's under the tape be it outtakes or anything else and that leads to this situation that your rim turns into mush so yeah so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna clean this very well and i'm gonna try to clean up the corrosion and i'm gonna tighten all the spokes and let's see how far that gets me. I tried to take as much as possible of the powdery oxidized aluminium layer. It seems that there's two layers, uh, one harder one and then a bottom is, the, the rim is actually from the aluminium so I guess that's the aluminium and it oxidized under that uh, harder top layer. And some of these patches are massive and what it happens is for example here it just makes uh, the nipple not sit on the on the rim and then move obviously right so what i tried is uh clean my, as much as possible all over the place and i i, I sanded them um so they're smooth so it doesn't cut the tube um i'm not entirely sure really i mean that look at that how deep that is um so i'm probably gonna paint it I don't think it makes any difference, but I'm going to do just for my own sanity. And uh, then I need to figure out how to tighten the spokes without making it even more mess on the potato. Well, why that dries? I mean, how do you fix this? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to give up on this guy this is what i'm dealing with <laughs> and i have to say i don't really know how to deal with it um i mean hammer well this is probably as much as i can do i mean it's not tightened up exactly the same way all the way and i'm definitely not trying to sort out any wobble with this potato ah it's pointless so that's it um the rim has a coat now maybe it's gonna prevent the corrosion more i don't know uh so that's uh basically done bike's ready it's all in one piece and everything is working as supposed to work so the rear tubeless is not leaking at all during the whole day and the night so that's fine but the main question really for me is does the tubeless influence the rate of the corrosion on those rims is it because i had the tubeless on and taped it up that it corroded in such a weird way so fast it's, i don't really know if that's the case you know imagine that you have 500 euro um, axle rim 
you put a tubeless on or you have it at the bar um, bar tubeless done and it's gonna do that I, I don't know there must be something wrong which I'm completely missing so if if you have any opinion on that or if you know what's going on with the rim just let me know or if you for that matter know how to treat that aluminium corrosion because I just spray painted really which probably is not solving anything and um, that's it that's all I wanted to show because it scared me and you know I'm not even know if it's scary or not <laughs>